Hi everyone and welcome to another Sims 2 tutorial. Now with this this time we're going to make a Greek house. Now we're going to use George Bennett who we used to get into our secret society or into the secret society. So we've come back to George in the dorm. Now what I normally do for the first generation for a Greek house um, I cheat a little bit. <laughs> Uh, what I do is because he's been living here basically all this stuff it's going to buy mode all this stuff I'm going to turn off the music as well I think because that can be a little bit loud um, go into buy mode and I grab oh look we've got a streaker <laughs> I grab the stuff that we are going to need for the Greek house and pop it in his inventory and then I sell everything out else to make money so that he can buy the lot to build the Greek house if you follow my drift you'll see what I mean so what we'll do let's get him to let's pop some stuff in his inventory what he'll need uh, a bookcase is a good idea and that uh, all those sofas don't look that great do they these little chairs are nice can we use that one yeah we've got the easel and uh, a, a tv <laughs> and uh, a game simulator we'll have a nice uh, side table and uh, we'll take a couple of sofas and a microwave is a good idea to have and the music thing we'll grab those well actually we'll just grab with one and uh we'll get a toilet <laughs> bad isn't it and uh, a sink oh look we've got some fish there we'll take that now that table's rather large isn't it can we take the computer I don't think you can take the computer no we can't uh, what I'll do oh that's on there can we put that on there no we can't I would have to sell those we need a desk and chair there's another microwave there we'll take the fridge <laughs> um, I'll take the cooker as well stove these tables we'll take these tables there we go we'll, and four chairs and uh, we've got a dishwasher there by the look of it trash compactor we've got a dishwasher somewhere I think there's a dishwasher and um, we're, we're going to need these things aren't we let's move that microwave over there and take a couple of those need to sort out the we'll sell that computer and then we'll pop the uh, desk and chair in there what have we got upstairs we can use? Oh, that's a better sofa, isn't it? We'll grab those, shall we? Little lamp there. I've uh, got chest set <laughs> with a couple of chairs. Actually, we'll use these chairs for the chest set. There we go. Oh, there's dartboard there. I'll have the dartboard. Um, what else is there? We didn't get a shower, did we? There's um. we could take the wardrobe okay let's take this let's take this wardrobe <laughs> and which bedroom is he in oh he's over here look I will take his bed then and there's a we can't do that one there's lights there we can sort our own lights out and there's another music center there I think oh we want to shower don't we let's grab a shower and oh there's a mirror there we'll grab the mirror I think that's it then um, we'll sell everything else I think oh there's a telephone there we'll grab that telephone and yep I think that's about all we're going to need for our Greek house what I'll do I'll just uh, sell everything else uh, to make some money <laughs> and um, I'll edit that through 
Okay, so I've sold absolutely everything apart from the stairs actually. I'm not sure if we can. Can we sell those? No, we can't. What about these ones? Can we sell these ones? No. Okay, so we've sold everything. <laughs> and even the flooring. Oh, there's this. <laughs> Just seen something else. We've got lights here. Look and. Uh, whoops. Curtains, more curtains. And we're now made 27,618 simoleons. Obviously, when our sim leaves, there won't be any sims uh, living here in the dorm. So you can either. Um, I think what I did do before actually was I just deleted the the lot, but you can always come back in in uh, buy mode and uh, add all the items back into it again for uh, another household. But anyway, so we'll save it there. So what I normally like to do, I like to have. Let's go into buy. I like to have my Greek house named after one of these or two or three of these Greek letters. So we've got uh, Ureli, uh, Ho, Nagard, Anya, Cham, Frum, Oresha and Var. So let's think of a nice Greek name we can uh, we can call our Greek house. How about Ureli? Cham Var. We'll call it that, shall we? You really Cham Var. And then we'll get those Greek letters when we move to place on the side of the of the house. So what we'll do after we've saved, we'll go back into neighborhood. Okay, so in neighborhood view, what we'll do is we'll place down the uh, largest lot that we can get, a huge lot, five by six. Uh, where should we put it? We'll pop it there. Let's pop it there. And we'll name it what we were going to call it for the Greek house, which is, even though it's not a Greek house just yet, Ureli Chamva. That's Ureli. I'll put a hyphen. Chamva. There we go. It's residential. Okay, now what we need to do is, where is it? Move students. There we go. Go to move students. Go to our dorm, move Bennett household to the students bin. Yes, we do. Okay, so there he is. Moved him out. Now what we're going to do, we're going to place him in our for rent place, which is 4069. Move Bennett household into this lot. Cost to move in is 4069 Somalian. So yes, please. Okay, so here we are on our new lot. And what we're going to do, we're going to build him a very small house at the moment because obviously he's got 23,549 simoleons. Now, I only do that, you know, steal all the stuff from the dorm on the first generation. Uh, in future generations, like the, his children and their children's children, will have to come to uni, go to, into a dorm, and then they will have to get into the Greek house by just being friends with the Greek house sims. What I also do is I keep the girls' Greek house separate from the boys' Greek house. I mean, in my personal game, um, I've got seven, oh, seven brides for seven brothers. I oh, well, have seven boys in the Greek, with the boys' Greek house and seven girls in the, in the girls' Greek house. And, uh, Unless, of course, you use a mod, you can't have more than eight sims. But I tell you, trying to control seven sims in a household is really hard going. So that's why I keep them separate. So we've got the girls in one and the boys in the other. So I've got 14 sims at uni at the moment in my personal game. So what we'll do, I'll build him a little house. Obviously, all he needs is like a kitchen, diner, living room, uh, a bedroom and a bathroom. So I'll do that now and uh, I'll put it through as a speed build.
So I've made a very quick <laughs> little Greek house. Well, it's a house at the moment, not a Greek house. And now what we need to do is take out all these items from his uh, inventory and plop those in. Let's see, what have we got? We've got a TV there. I can pop that there for now. Whoops. Actually, I think what we'll do, we'll pop the TV here. I think I got a fireplace. I'm not sure, actually. No, I didn't. Oh, look, we've got that. <laughs> okay, put that there. And we did have a sofa here somewhere. I don't think they're very nice, are they, those ones? We did pick up another one, which I think is a lot better. That one and that one, yes. Okay, let's go back into, we'll sell those. And uh, plop those in. That looks okay, doesn't it? There, yeah, it's fine. And we want a little side table that can go there and we've got a, a thing there well we'll pop that there for now what else we've got we've got bookcase that can go there and oh we've got a couple of uh, chairs here look oh we can uh, put those over here that one there and uh, we'll pop that one there We've got a little music center that can go over there. It's quite big actually, this place, isn't it? It's probably too big, but uh, it can always be. I'll pop that there. And uh, oh, we've got this thing as well. Oh, well, I'll shove that there as well. <laughs> and we've got a. I'll keep this the kitchen. Let's pop that there. And then we've got sink here and a toilet and now where's our shower we had a shower somewhere there it is <laughs> pop that there actually was that straight no it wasn't was it can it go there no i'll pop that one there then at least he's got a shower and everything there and uh ah oh. Let's move that there because that won't go on there with those windows. Uh, there's our phone. We'll pop that there. We're going to need that. And I've uh, got a little bed there. Uh, we've got 11,000 left. So we could make changes to this, make it look a lot better. Give him better th items. Uh, let's put this uh, in. Oh, then we've got, um, actually what we'll do, let's move our phone over there. We need an alarm as well, but uh, what happened to the, uh, there it is, dartboard. We'll shove that there. So desk, I'll pop that. Whoops move you over there so they can get to the phone that can go there and of course we've got a lamp where we're going to put that uh, I'll shove it actually we'll shove it there and then we've got these kitchen things there and there we've got a little what's it one of those trash can and the other thing we've got a cooker there okay and we put the cooker there yes we can put the cooker there we've got a table it's <laughs> quite a lot actually it fills up the place doesn't it once you've put all the the things in or well, anyway we've got our chairs in to sort this out a bit better i think um, I think two of those chairs were actually for this, weren't they? There. And then we've got the microwave, of course. Put that on there. And that's all. So, of course, we're going to need to buy... OK, 
<laughs> we're going to need to buy uh, an alarm thing smoke alarm thing I'll put that up there and uh, of course the uh, burglar alarm we need one of those shove that there okay it's a bit messy but um, that'll do for now so what we need to do now is phone to create a Greek house so we'll let's get him to use the loo first so it's very easy to make a Greek house in Sims 2 so when I um, uh, before he leaves I'll get uh, a pledge to move in so that, that keeps the house open and then when future sims or when the future generation comes along they'll have to make friends with the guy who's here so that they can get in the greek house and then i move the pledge out but as the generations go on so the sims can bring in more things with them such as such as career reward items that they're parents don't need if they've got like more than one of them so where you've got the secret society having all those career reward items uh, you can have that in the greek house so you probably wouldn't need the secret society but um that's what i do so when the greek houses they just become bigger and better as the generations go on so anyway let's um where's the phone where would i put it oh there it is <laughs> okay let's greek house apply for charter oh, love. and of course as more sims enter the greek house we're going to need more bedrooms and more bathrooms i'll try and do a an ensuite for each bedroom Thanks, George, for calling Sim Greek International. Would you like to apply for a Greek house charter? With Greek membership, your house can be a party magnet, but make sure that your members keep making lots of friends in order to keep the party going and bring new members into the house. Are you sure you want a Greek charter for your house? Yes, please. Come over me. What's up? Thanks, George. Your application has been approved. Your house is now a Greek house with all the benefits and disadvantages thereof. I don't know what the disadvantages are, but anyway, congratulations and may you build a cool Greek house. Probably the disadvantages are um, now normally, yeah, maybe the disadvantages because you get the cow mascot come along and I don't know, but then you get that anyway, don't you, with the dorms. Normally what they'll do is they normally go and bring back something for the Greek house, which is normally a letter. So let's, uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's get his fun up a little bit. Is he going to go? I don't think he's going to go, but normally they'll go and, uh, apart from getting pizza, they'll go and get a, a letter, a Greek letter. But what we'll do, we'll put our own Greek letters on. Um, that's on the wall hangings. And we called it, we called it, you ready, Chamvar? Let's put these walls up. So we want three spaces. We haven't got three spaces, have we? <laughs> well, maybe yes we can put it on there oh, you really there's you really is that it no that's a var uh, let's have it in black shall we there's the var uh, and we want you really and cham that's uh, from russia that's a cham and uh nagard ho you really there we are so there we go. You ready, Chamvar? <laughs> That's our Greek house. And uh, yeah, as I say, normally they'll they'll go and bring a letter back so you can sell that. 
so that's how you create a Greek house in the Sims 2 it is quite simple it's just that I do tend to cheat in the beginning just to get him some uh, items and money and he's still got 11,000 so you can uh, uh, upgrade these if you want to or, or build on another bedroom for the uh, next sim that will come along that will ha you'll have to leave the house open otherwise you won't be your generations won't be able to get into it well I hope that's clear I'm not very good at <laughs> explaining things but that's how you make a Greek house in Sims 2 or you can just do mother load um, but yeah you just make the phone call apply for a charter and then you have a Greek house so uh, I hope that is clear <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you like this video please hit the like button don't forget to comment in the section below and uh, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notification of my next video as long as this hasn't turned you off <laughs> and uh, subscribing is free and um, really does help me out a lot and uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you again next time bye bye <laughs>